But now they're going to step it up. Half Iron Man, Iron Man. Now your body's going to take more abuse. You're going to pay more attention to alignment. You're going to pay more attention to your weight bearing symmetry. One Achilles hurt, not the other. Both legs ran 18 miles today. Why does one hurt, not the other? There's some imbalance putting more pressure. Now, if you have, and we all have a small leg length discrepancy. If you play tennis or volleyball, it's never going to give you a problem. But if you run mile after mile, that little bit of difference builds up a lot of stress somewhere, and the weakest link will break. So you've done too much work with too little recovery, maybe some mechanical insufficiencies and inequalities that put more stress on one of the structures or another, and finally they're going to break down. When the pain appears from an overuse injury, it really means it's been brewing for six weeks, 12 weeks before. The tendon or the connective tissue has been breaking down for a long time, and your body just can't seem to catch up to heal it. So it's critical to look back at your training and realize, you know, every week there should be hard days and easy days, recovery days, right? And recovery days are not sitting on the sofa. It's very important to go out and do a light workout because there's certain proteins in the body called heat shock proteins. And they only get activated when you heat your body from the inside out. So that's why you can't use a jacuzzi, you can't use a sauna. You actually do a light workout. It could be a 20 minute walk, it could be a seven minute yoga routine. It could be nothing more than your stretching and a, and a, and a walk. That's gonna help you recover for the next day's workout. The key is always to be fresh and recovered for the three important workouts you have each week, days, and then there should be three very important recovery days where you're seeking active recovery. Self-massage with a massage. Because cortisol undoes everything you want your body to do. Cortisol tells your body to store fat. Cortisol inhibits your muscular development. So cortisol is normal. We work out, it's gonna come up. Then we wanna do recovery techniques and get it back down before your next workout.